right yes oh welcome 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 my name is maurice the crochet master and uh, today we're going to see something uh that um we need to learn yes and this one is going to help us uh even it's going to help our kids yeah to grow uh their hair so we're going to see now how to do the cornrows but these ones i call them french cornrows just because um um i do them in a french um style and so that uh look, when i reach upwards there's some other design that i put so if you're still with me please click on that red button and ring the bell so that you be the first person to watch all these videos that i be uploading yes so uh we start like this um to those of us who know how to do the corners uh, yes i know that one uh that one you can also those ones who know how to do corners yes and to those ones who don't know please just give me your time and if it's your first time on this channel yes just do just know we do all types of hair cells yes so uh to those ones who need to know even more 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 about other hair cells just go in my comment section and type anything that you would need uh to learn and um uh, to know about or other hair cells yes i like sharing ideas so that's what i can tell you to do and remember we're still uh we st we do even online um um online uh, lessons yes you can just follow my uh www still we can uh, be together so we started this way as you can see uh just like that you can see i'm doing it yes you try to make sure you do it this way i know these ones uh, i'm using a little bit of kinky yeah the soft kinky and uh, from the start we all know that you don't have you don't have when it it is with kinky you don't need to make it very tight because kinky holds its yeah, the hair itself so that's why we always like using kinky because uh, for it you don't need to make it very tight since it looks the same as uh the um, it looks the it's it's all it looks this it's got got that texture of the natural uh, the natural look so that's why i'm saying like you don't need to make it tight like at the beginning uh because this is a kid and if you do it that way it won't uh, make it um right for her and um uh, when as we are uh, continuing plating you just have to do to keep on adding uh, that one you just add according to the um uh to the uh size that you want because you see after reaching somewhere i can just leave it going that way you can just leave it uh i keep on plating this way yes i don't continue so you can also try to do it this way because it's going to uh, help you a lot so you, that's how you keep on adding i uh, just keep on adding uh just like that so if you want to do it if you want to do it uh just know we're doing the upwards corners this is not the inside corners yes um these are not inside corners the upward corners so those ones who didn't see the other first uh first one uh, try to look here very uh very right i uh, i just get a small kinky uh, this way and uh, then i try to uh, roll it just like that i put my finger that way then i start plating trust me i told you you don't need to make here very tight yes just try to be as gentle as possible since kinky is uh it is um it can um um it, it looks like 
uh, the natural hair has got the same texture so it is easy to uh, uh, I can say they blend together yes so you don't need to make it very tight um, uh, you don't need to make it very tight maybe if you are using like the normal braids uh, those ones you can uh, you can just because for them they are slippery and at times they don't connect with uh, the natural hair but when it comes to kinky uh, that one you don't need to make it that tight at all so uh, these are some some uh, simple simple uh, styles that you can do your kid and uh, you keep on bossing her hair and even uh, some uh, these are some simple simple hair cells that are going to protect her hairlines and even high hair to grow slowly by slowly you know uh, for me i always played my <laughs> my daughter uh because uh, there's that touch i feel like maybe someone else won't do it so i just played her myself yeah because high hair is very very bad so i'm trying very very hard to, to see that i can uh, uh, boost it so that it can grow very well so i just keep on playing it uh, around with these these uh, simple protective hair cells so uh, this is how you can do uh, this is how you can keep on doing it and trust me you will love it you see i'm doing it you see very perfect very nice you just have to be uh, as flexible as possible yes don't make it very tight i told you don't make it very tight yeah just like that just like that so i try to get the baby hair yeah here i couldn't make other two lines because uh you can see i've i'm i'm near the 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 baby hair so I just try to leave the other hair because I told you whenever you're plating please try to be very careful when it comes to the baby hair because if you plate and you add the baby hair it is going to be very very dangerous it might bring uh, the damage of the hair and even it bring the pain yes bring the pain so you should always be careful when it comes to plating these uh these styles that you should not um it shouldn't be very very rough and uh, don't add the baby hair yes so that's why we are saying like i'm trying to leave some yes all this one that is not grown i'm leaving it out i'm just plating the hair that is grown yeah so when we're done with that you can see yeah i'm going to show you the the simple simple style that i'll be doing on it so let's do this together right yes so when i'm done with that uh, we're going to see and how to do to add on uh the spring twist yes uh, that's what i say that my style is going to be like this so i try to crochet here the spring twist uh, those ones who don't know how to do spring twist sorry for you because there are some I already uploaded videos showing you how to do spring twist so you can also go and uh, try to learn that uh, yes those ones who didn't know how to do spring twist but this is how we keep on doing it let's try to be quick here so that we see how it is going to end <music>
right um so yes as we're winding up with our spring test this is how it looks so the next step that i'm going to do i'm going to try to see how it's going to look when i put it in front and this is how it looks make sure that is there yes my spring twist before yes yeah, that's how it looks well so after doing that the only step i'm going to do is to cut it yes i'm going to cut it so let's try to be speedy here because the cutting is just very simple you just cut according to the way you want them to be and um uh, for my kid for her she's uh she does it. there are those kids who don't like head fall in their faces uh but for her she's very fine i wish she can close her eyes yes i wish she can close her eyes yeah sorry 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 oh <laughs> sorry so now let's try to close your eyes please mm -hmm. so we're doing it that way i'm trying to cut it i'm trying to cut it so that it can be that perfect and trust me you're going to love it so to those ones who would like to learn more more myself please just uh, stack on this channel because there are a lot a lot to come that you need to learn my name is Maurice the project master and we do this every Wednesday Friday Saturday and Sunday see my echo gel the way I'm doing it it is so lovely wow I just love it Mm -hmm. so this is how we do it after doing all that then uh, you put um, uh, some uh, little little designs for the kids you know how they always like those designs yeah i'm using my echo gel it helps me a lot so here i can add on my design the little design that i want and trust me you're going to love it so uh, let's keep on doing this please my name is morris the crochet master and trust me just know i love you so much those who are watching me netherlands um united states of america yeah those ones in um united kingdom france uh then and those ones who are in kenya nairobi tanzania nigeria ghana yes thank you so much for loving morris the crochet master for now, I sign out. Bye-bye.